Hi, welcome to Roy's Game Table. Today we have X-Men Mutant Insurrection gameplay. Colossus and Shadow Cat are taking on the Hellfire Gambit plot. So pull up a chair and let's see what happens. Okay, we are gonna go ahead and today and take on the Hellfire Gambit plot. And as you can see, it has the two orange uh, rhombuses or whatever filled in here, which that indicates that this is kind of like a medium difficulty plot. So uh, let's read the flavor text for it. After the X-Men defeat the Hellfire Club, Emma Frost hatches a plan for revenge. Pretty simple. Now, it says set up, flip one additional mission face up. Well. In, uh, in a normal two-player game with two heroes, you only flip up one of the continent missions face up. And that's what it's talking about when it says flip it face up, the continent missions. But we're going to flip up two. And I also want to show you that during play, it says after flipping a mission with one or more icons, including during setup, place a success token on this card. Then, if there are success tokens on this card equal to the number of players put payback into play and so uh you know according to this uh when i flip over the two missions if i get two crisis icons i'll actually go ahead and put payback into play at setup and which uh i would think is not very good it's going to make it kind of tough for me i would think i have played this mission off camera a few times and that hasn't happened yet but if it happens to this game it's going to be new and I think it will be tough, and you'll see, I think you may see why if it does happen. But let's go ahead and flip up the two missions then. Uh, let's do Africa. And we have one Crisis Icon, icon so we'll put one on the Hellfire Gambit. Uh, let's put that up here so we can keep track of it. So we got one success token there. And then, yep, and so Misled Mutants. So it's set up. We're going to have, we've got two, uh, the numbers of, number of players is two, so we got two, I got two uh, success tokens on here. So we're gonna have to put payback into play. And I'll show you what that is. It's payback, it says X-Men, the school is under attack. This has been orchestrated by the Hellfire Club to catch us off guard. So this card replaces Cerebro. And then you replace Xavier's office with Hellfire Sentinels and replace Danger Room with Leland. And then at the end of the round, if Hellfire Sentinels and Leland are both completed, flip this card. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these set up. Okay, so here they are. Um, the Hellfire Sentinels are over here covering up Xavier's office, so I can't use that part of the building until I uh, take this out. And the success is you place it under the plot. The failure is uh, each hero suffers two damage. And then Leland over here, each hero trains, then place this card under the plot each hero suffers one damage. So let's go ahead and get started. Well, if I don't do anything, if I can't complete any missions, the threat's gonna go from four to eight at the end of this round. So you're at the beginning of the threat phase. So um, I'm already in a little bit of a predicament. And as I said in my previous games, this didn't happen at setup. So I'm gonna have to do a strategy different than what I did in those other games. Um, Oh, by the way, this has a flip effect. If Blob is completed, complete one object here, he isn't. So I, uh, the, the success for Misled Mutants is two heroes each draw a mutant. I mean, that would be nice if we get some mutants to help me, and maybe I want to do that. Pyro, the success is one hero forms a bond, but the failure is raise threat by one. I don't want to do that, and each hero suffers one damage, so I don't want to do that. And the failure to the Misled Mutants is that one hero breaks a bond. So. Um, well, let's look at the heroes we've got because Colossus, his ability is once per round, you may spend one power result as a five damage result. And we can see here, Leland has a four damage, so that could be good for that. And then his assist ability that uh, Shadowcat could use is Bodyguard. If you would suffer damage, Colossus may suffer that damage instead if he's not already knocked out. Shadowcat's ability, phasing, which I kind of like. Once per round, you may spend a die to satisfy one requirement of the color that matches the threat tracker's position on the threat track. And then her uh, assist ability that Colossus can use in tangibility, you may ignore all damage requirements 
Uh, there are none out right now that are in green. There is one here, but it's red. So I, you know, Shadow Cat can go to one of these missions, and because it's in green, they only have to cover the green right now, and she could just use any die to cover one of these objectives. So I'm thinking about either coming to Misled Mutants to try to get a draw mutants to help, or go ahead and jump into the story and try to get some of these crisis icons out of the way. And I feel like the best thing for Shadow Cat to do is to come to one of the missions. I'm going to come here to Leland because if if we do succeed, they can she can train or or he can train too if he comes here. And since it's in green, she can use her ability to use any die to cover any one of these results. So I'm going to put her there, and I'll just have Colossus go ahead and help her. I think I just need to get these story missions out of the way. So we're going to do that. I'll have Colossus be the active hero first. Shadow Cat will assist him. And, of course, the nice thing about her assisting him is that gives him an even spread of all the, the three colors of dice. Two red, two yellow, two blue. So two blue, two red. I'll put my defective blue back and get another one, and then two yellow. All right, so he'll go ahead and roll up. Now the villainy effect is discard all red dice from your pool. So he has two of them. So that's a pretty bad one. Let's see what happens. Okay, he, he gets two villainy. Rolls two villainy. All right. Uh, well, I have a power token, and I don't need any power, but the power can cover up this four for him. So I'll keep that. And this blue X can cover up that. So he can complete one objective, this middle objective. It doesn't have an arrow pointing down, so he can do this middle one. And then let's see. I've got another team symbol. I'll re-roll that because I only need one. And then I've got one. I'm going to re-roll that. But in order to re-roll these two, I would have to discard all my red. So I don't want to do that. I'll just... So i got two more re-rolls. I'll re roll these two. So let's see. One... All right, I got a two, but then I get a villainy. So I'd have to discard my two red to be able to re-roll again. And I, I think I probably should. I mean, I can only do one requirement. I don't want Shadow Cat to be forced to have to do two of them by herself. So I know I've got one. I will, uh, I will discard my red dice, discard all red dice from my pool, and then re-roll this yellow and blue again and hopefully get what I need with these. Let's see. Nope, a villainy and a team. So he doesn't complete that, but I will use the, the power result for a five damage to cover that and then the team to cover that. So he does at least complete one of them. And now Shadow Cat, as I said, is going to have to uh, do everything by herself, do the other two by herself. So if she's the active player, I'll have Colossus assist her and as you can see, when he assists her, she can roll four red dice, and I need damage. So that's pretty good. Those are pretty good odds under the circumstances I'm in. And then, of course, as I said, it's in green, the threat is. And as we saw with her ability, uh, you may spend a die to satisfy one requirement of the color that matches the threat tracker's position on the track. So I think she should be able to do this. We'll see. Four red, a yellow, and a blue. All right. And... Let's go ahead and roll up four. And she gets uh, a red two. She gets three red twos and a villainy. And I definitely don't want to re-roll that because I'd have to lose all my red die. But I, I need two twos here. So that's good. And then I need one two here. So I've got it, I think. Let's see. A two there, a two there. A two on that one, and then I'll use her ability to have this blue die cover up the green with her phasing ability. So they succeed. All right, very good. So and because they succeed, they will um, go back to the Blackbird right now, and then as success, each hero trains. Well, let's see. We're going to need some damage and some power. Well, I'm going to give. Colossus of power because it says for his ability you may spend power as a five damage result. It doesn't say that it has to be a die that's spent. It just says a power result. So I'm going to give that to him. And then for her, now 
she won't be able to use her ability next time because this threat tracker will go up to the yellow and these are all green. So I've got to really think about what I want to do here. Uh, quite a bit of damage is needed, but I do need two power tokens. Well, Colossus has one, maybe he can roll into it. I'll have her get a two damage. And then Leland, uh, when you succeed, also goes under the plot. So I'll stick that under here under the Hellfire Gambit. So I guess a pretty decent round. And now the danger room is open that I could use to train if I needed to. All right, so we're at the threat phase, race threat by number of crisis icons. We have three, so this is gonna go from four to seven. And then we uh, will flip a mission, but in a two player game, if you have a mission flipped up, you don't flip another one, so we won't do that. And then we'll draw a green card, and it is global crisis. Flip a face down mission, face up. All right, so we're gonna have three. And it is belligerent mutant, and it's one hero draw mutant. So that, that's unfortunate because none of these are going to help me reduce threat. And, um, and now, if I don't take care of this, it's going to go up from 7 to 11 already. And even if I do take care of it, it'll go up to 10. But that's it. So we're at the regroup phase. And now we are at the deploy phase. All right. Well, given the circumstances I'm in with, with these three crisis icons, I think I gotta go to the story mission, try to knock it out the way I did Leland. I'll put them both over here. And uh, that's going to mean, oh, by the way, these cards are supposed to go back, the assist cards. So that'll mean that uh, the villainy effect is suffer one damage for each villainy result if I wanna reroll. And they haven't taken any damage, so I may end up using that. I'll have Colossus be the active player to start with this time, so Shadow Cat will assist him. All right, two red, two yellow, two blue. Let's roll it up and see if he can get this done. Okay, we do have a, we have two villainy, which he has eight health, so that might not be too bad to re-roll. But I have I don't need team icons, so I'm gonna re-roll those for sure. I've got a, I need a red two, so I've got a red two, and then I've got this power that can cover the power or the four. The one's not going to do me a whole lot of good. Um, I, I think I will re-roll those. It's only going to give him two out of eight, two damage out of eight health. So I'm going to use that and re-roll all, all five of these. So I get two more re-rolls. Here's one re-roll. All right, two villainy effects again. And, uh, well, this time, this time I've got a three that I could use to cover that. But I would have to take um, two more damage, which give him to four out of eight to be able to re-roll those. But I really, I, I don't want, again, I don't want Shadow Cat to have to do too much. I'll, I'll go ahead and do it. He does have eight health, so that's gonna be two. And I'm gonna definitely re-roll these three. I got one more re-roll. Um, I need to get a four. I'll hold on to these and let's see what he can get with these three. Come on, make it worth it to take that damage. No, unbelievable. Well, actually, I mean, I do, I could get the bottom one. Well, he did a terrible roll. I can only cover one of them. And I, she does have this power too, but it's, and she does get to roll four red dice, but it may be hard for her to get a four, a four, and a three. So, but it may also be hard for her to get the two power symbols because she's only gonna roll one yellow if he helps her. All right, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep his token. I'm gonna spend this for his ability, get a five damage to cover that one, and have these two cover that one, just to do the hardest damage one. So he'll, six, he'll, he'll complete that objective, but that's it, that's all he's able to do. Now Shadow Cat is the active hero. So Colossus will assist her. And again, she gets to roll four red. So she should be able to get this four and this two. I am a little concerned about getting these two powers, but um, you know, we'll see what happens. All right, two red or four red, a blue and a yellow. And let's roll it up. Okay. Well, she gets a power that she needs. So I'm gonna have to keep that. She doesn't roll any villainy, and that's good. She has a three, 
and a one. So there's her four that she needs with, and she has a token so she can get the middle roll. So all I need is just one power symbol. And I've got two re-rolls to do it. So I'll roll these three. All right, here's one re-roll. All right, nothing. And, oh, got lucky. I was afraid I wasn't gonna get it, but I did. So she'll cover those up. And again, I can't use her ability because it's in the yellow and these are all green that she has to do. So, but I got that. I've got the four, the three and the one, and then I've got the two to cover that two. So good. So they did it. Shadow Cat seems to be the, the all-star here in this game, but we got it. So they complete that objective. They'll go back. And all this the success for this is just simply to put it under the plot. And then at the end of the round is when you will, um, is when you'll flip. If, if Hellfire Sentinels and Leland are both completed, flip this card, but you do that at the end of the round. So we're at the threat phase. It will go up three from seven to 10. And then we have to flip a card, but we don't because there's, they all have, all the continents have one. And then we will do the threat card, which is a Sentinel. So uh, place it on the most, with the most success tokens none of them have, so I can pick whatever one I want. I'll just put it on that one because uh, that's, uh, now we're at the regroup phase. So they've regrouped and everything. Now we're at the end of the round, so we'll flip this. And I think it stays on Cerebro. There's, it, you know, the plot doesn't say what to do when you flip Payback, and Payback doesn't say wh where to put it. So I don't know if I can flip it and take it off Cerebro and use Cerebro or if it just covers Cerebro for the rest of the game. But I'm just gonna leave it covered uh, because it really doesn't matter because I, I think I gotta complete this. The success is at the start of the threat phase, put Emma Frost Showdown in. And if I don't complete this, let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five icons. If I don't complete this, this goes up to 15. Now I won't lose on that turn, but then I'm gonna have to complete it on the next turn or I will lose. So again, I don't even feel like I even have an option to come over here. I think I need to take both of them and put them right on this Hellfire Takeover. And they've got to get nine requirements with 12 dice. Now he does have a token to help him reach like this four, but he may need that token for these power. All right, but that's what we're going to do. So um, I'll just have, do what I've done before. Colossus will be the active mutant and so shadow cat will assist him he'll roll two red two yellow and two blue and let's see what he rolls okay well i got the two power tokens i got the two power that i need i also need uh, the villainy effect is discard one damage of uh, one die or suffer one damage which isn't too bad but let's see what i have well i need I, I think I need to keep these powers because I need three. Um, I do have a, I have a two, I have a power and I have a team. So that can, so that can complete this middle one. Then I have a, this one power could cover the four with his ability and one can cover this. So if I can get another power, he can complete two of the objectives. So I think I might do that. So I'm going to take suffer one damage, take him to five out of eight. <laughs> so he's taking a lot of damage, but I'm going to do that so that I can re-roll these two dice here. All right, let's see what happens. He gets a, a one. That's not what I need. If I take another damage, he'll be at six out of eight. Man, but I really want him to try to get this power. I, I won't re-roll that. I'll just see if I can get it with this blue. Uh, no, I get a teamwork. All right, let me look and see what I've got here. Okay, so knowing that if, if he assists her, she's going to get roll four red dice. Um, I think, and, and only one yellow, and, and yellow is the best dice, is the best die color for the power, and there's three of these. So I think, the, I think what he needs to do is use his, I'm going to use this power token to cover that, use one of these power results to cover that four with his ability and then this so he because that's the only thing i can do is complete one row 
And so he will complete this bottom row. And now she just needs to get one power. She doesn't get two team. But then she has four red dice to get the rest of them. So maybe she'll be able to do that. I hope so. It'll be her turn. He'll assist her. And once again, she has to be the one to get two of the three objectives. And she has four red dice, a yellow and a blue to do it. All right. Let's see what happens. Uh, doesn't roll any villainy. That's good. She gets two power symbols, which I don't need. But let's see. She gets. She has a two. She does have a one. Um, she does have a power. And she does have another two. So um, I just need to re-roll. I just need to get the team symbols now. Like two re-rolls. I've had two re-rolls to get the team symbols. Okay, villainy and a two. Let's switch that out with the blue one because blue is best for team. And I'm gonna have to if I don't if I don't complete these two objectives, then it's gonna go up five up to fifteen. You don't lose till it gets to sixteen, but I don't want it to, I don't want to lose. So I got one more re-roll. And so she will suffer one damage to be able to re-roll that villainy die there. Come on, two. I want to see two teamwork symbols. And I didn't get it, either one. So um, well, let's cover. Oh, I can't cover any of them. I can't do anything because I didn't roll a team symbol. I can't do either one of the objectives. So they fail. Failure, raise threat by one, or each hero suffers one damage. I can't let threat go by one, because if I do that, I will lose right now. So each hero, or each hero suffers one damage, that's what it's going to be. She'll go to two, and Colossus will go to six out of eight. He's got a lot of hit points, but he's running out of them. Okay. Start of the threat, threat phase, we go one, two, three, four, five. So from ten. 15 and I did check and make sure and if it if it goes beyond 15 you lose so I've got one more turn to try to get these two objectives filled in in order to go to the showdown to keep myself from losing but we don't flip a mission and now we draw a red card and it is a sentinel and so fewest objectives now the the objectives do count even if you've got one covered. So they all have the same amount. They all have three. So we'll just put it here on belligerent mutants. All right. And then we will regroup with these two. And that's going to be it. Now we're at the deploy phase. Well, I have no choice. I mean, I've got to go here and um, try to finish this, this story mission so that I don't lose. Because if I don't finish it, I definitely lose. All right. Well, Colossus will be assisted by Shadow Cat, and we'll let him be the active hero again. So we get two red, two blue, two yellow, and we'll roll it up. And this is what I need. And I had a hard time getting team symbols last time. Let's see if I can get them this time. All right, we got two villainy. I got the two team symbols. That's good. And I've got a one and a two. So he could take another point of damage to try to roll those. That would give him up to seven out of eight. But one thing I know about the showdown is you do take damage. And I don't want to get him, I don't want him going into the showdown with seven out of eight damage. And he hit, he is going to complete one objective. So I think we're going to leave it there. I, I, um, I, I'm not going to have him, well, I can discard a die. I could discard a die, but then I wouldn't be able to complete, then I wouldn't be able to do it because he, because he's only got six dice and there's six requirements. So I'm just going to stop there. I'll do the two, the one, and the team. And that is going to cover up this objective. So he did his part. But that's it for him. And he only has two hit points left, but he does at least have two hit points. And now Colossus will assist Shadow Cat, who rolls four red a yellow and a blue and she does have she could suffer damage if she needs to and she's going to have to do whatever she can to get a two damage a power and a teamwork 
Let's see what happens. She's got the two damage and she's got the power. Okay. All right. Um, so I need a teamwork, which is best for blue. And I can discard a die. So I don't have to. I don't have to take damage. I will discard one of the red die so that I can reroll my villainy in this. I got two rerolls to get a um, teamwork. And there we go. We did it. And she didn't take any damage. Very good. So a two, a power, and a teamwork. And she will cover that up. And she will succeed. These success tokens will come off because they completed it. And the success is that the start of the threat phase put Emma Frost Showdown into play. So they'll go back to the Blackbird, by the way, because they completed a mission. We're done. We're at the start of the threat phase. And the start, when it went, and according to the rules, whenever you start a phase, that trumps anything else that you do. So I won't, even though, even though I would lose if this would go off, because this um, puts the showdown into play at the start of the phase, we don't move threat. So we'll take these off the board. All right, and here's Emma Frost showdown. After weeks of machinations behind the scenes, the villain is revealed. Emma Frost and the Hellfire Club are back for revenge. Subtlety is discarded as Hellfire mercenaries, power armored knights, and even sentinels built by Shaw's company storm the school. It's an all out brawl on their home turf, but the X Men are nothing if not tenacious. Flip a Flip the plot card and set up the showdown. If the heroes win the game, flip this card. Okay, and here we are in the showdown, which is something you didn't get to see, I think, in my first video. But that's where we are here. We have three missions that we have to complete. And the villainy effect for this mission is reroll one die, showing a power result. And these two are suffer one damage. Now, in order to complete this mission over here, I don't know if you can see it, but you have to have the number of players minus one success tokens at the bottom. So I've only got to complete one objective one time. And, and when you complete an objective, you don't cover it like you did. You, just, you, know, you saw me do earlier. You don't do that. You put, this, you put the objective a success token down here. And then once you meet the requirement, like for this one is one in this case with two heroes, I only need one. Once I do that, I can put one of these uh, X tokens here to show that I've completed that mission. This middle one needs uh, three tokens. But again, if I put these to I put these tokens down here so that I can do these over and over again if I want to. And then this uh, last one, it also needs three. And because the threat track is in red, uh, I have to complete on this one. I do have to complete the two power tokens there. And then I had to do the yellow on these other ones. Now, at the end of at the end of the round, or when I actually when I get to the threat phase, I don't raise threat anymore or anything, but I will take one damage, both heroes. And that's why I didn't want that's why I didn't want Colossus taking too much damage, because uh, when you if you get knocked out during the showdown, your character is done. And if they both get knocked out, I lose. So, you know, before the showdown, if they get knocked out, you just bring in another hero from the box. But that's not the case in the showdown. So I didn't want him to take too much damage. All right, well, let's see what happens. We're going to deploy. And I think I'm going to deploy them here because I do have to have some damage and a big power here that Colossus could cover with his ability. So we'll just go ahead and do this middle one and see what we can do. And also, I want them to stay together this time so they can help each other. And, re and remember, uh, I gotta have three here, but if I complete an objective, I don't cover it up. So um, I can complete that objective again if I want to. So we're gonna have Shadow Cat assist him. He'll get two red, two yellow, and two blue. All right, come on, let's get, let's get two of these objectives. Okay, he gets a two villainy, which I don't want him taking too much damage because if he takes the damage now, uh, at the end of the at the end at the threat phase, he's done. Then Shadow Cat's got to do it all by herself. So let's see what I have. I do have 
the uh, power symbol to cover this four that I have to do, and I have a teamwork, so I can keep that. So I'm not going to re-roll these. Oh, I can. He can ignore uh, damage requirements because of her intangibility. So, so if I can roll. If I can get two reds in my two re-rolls, he can ignore this two damage and he will be able to cover two objectives or get two objectives done. So I won't be re-rolling these probably, but I'll re-roll these two reds. So this will be one re-roll and I got one, two, and this will be the other re-roll and it, it's a one. So he, uh, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, he, um, well, he wouldn't have been able to do it anyway because, because I need a two here, a teamwork here, and then I'm going to use his ability to make this a five. So that's going to that's gonna give one success token to this middle one here. And that's all he does. So once again, I need Shadow Cat to come through and to try to get two here so I can, can at least complete this middle objective. Because then again, at the threat phase, they're both going to take a damage. He'll put him at seven and eight. So he's really only going to have one more round to help out. And he may have to come over here and try to do this one or something. All right. She has four red, a yellow, and a blue. So come on, Shadow Cat. Let's get two of these. Uh, well, she's going to have to take two damage, which will put her at four out of five. So I'm going to have to try to get these two objectives. All right, let's see here. Two villainy effects. She does have a teamwork. She does have a two, but she only has one two. So, um, and I don't want her taking two damage. Well, Colossus could take it with a bodyguard, but that would knock him out. So, um, I'll just have her, I guess, suffer a damage. Put her at three out of five. No, I can't do that. Because she's probably gonna have to do it all by herself. But if I don't if I don't suffer the damage, she can't cover anything. So I am gonna have to suffer a damage to re-roll these villainy dice. Alright, let's re-roll these dice. I got Okay, so she gets a one and another villain. I can't take any more damage. So let's see a four. All right, I'll reroll these two. Nope, I didn't get what I needed. So let's see four that. So she's unable to to do any of it. So she doesn't she can't cover a success. So that's it. We go to the threat threat phase. They both take a damage, and this is probably going to be over. He's at seven out of eight, and she's at four out of eight. They'll deploy again. Um, it doesn't matter because I can't complete uh, all three of these this turn. And at the end of the phase, they'll both get knocked out. I'll just have Colossus come over here. Well, yeah, he, he rolls he rolls two yellow. So I'll have him come over here. I'll have Shadow Shadowcat. Uh, she'll come over here. All right, Colossus will go first. Roll four red and two yellow. And his first roll brings up a, I got the three that I need. And I have a team symbol, but I don't have any yellow. So I can re-roll one die showing a team result, but I don't have that. So I can't re-roll these yet. All right, let's re-roll. Um, let's re-roll these three. So this is my first re-roll. And I've got that. So he's got a three power and a power. So that's a success. We only need one success here. So we do complete this objective. Um, and then I have one more reroll, but I don't need to do another reroll. I've got what I need there. So it is Shadow Cat's turn, and she will do one yellow, three blue, and two red. 
All right, and she gets. Let's see. Uh, she gets teamwork that she needs from one of them. Uh, she has a two. And she has a three. So she has a three and a two. I'll just re-roll these four. Uh, nope, doesn't get. I need a power symbol. Which doesn't matter now. Uh, there's a power symbol, a three, a two. The power to give us this one success, but I need two more. But that's it. They're both done. So at the threat phase, she'll go to five and knock her out. He'll go to eight and it knocks her out. And that's the game. Well, that's the way it goes sometimes. I mean, I win. I've won games off camera, but in the games I've filmed, I've lost both of them. But you saw what happened here in this particular mission with two heroes. I flipped up the two exclamation points at the start of the game and that brought out the payback and brought out those story missions with four crisis icons. And really, I didn't feel like I had a choice at all in the game. I felt like I had to go to those story missions and I completed them as fast as I could. I was able to get to the showdown, but I got to the showdown, but I had a lot of damage on Colossus, not too much on Shadow Cat, but I wasn't able to roll what I needed. It just simply, I think, came down to I just think of the rolls I needed. Well, I hope you enjoyed the game. If you did, please consider to like and subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell for any future videos that I may have. And until that time, I'll save you a seat at the table. Bye.